three of our trip. Uh, we have left Bay of Islands very early this morning at 5 a.m. Um, and it is now about eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, I need to... Yeah, it's about eight o'clock this morning now. Uh, we have just made it to the top of New Zealand, well, top of North Island. Uh, we are here at Cape Ringer, exactly right at the lighthouse here at the car park right now, and we're about to start. And um, don't mind me, I'm a bit tired, just work out. <laughs> um, left on the way here. Uh, Karina drove most of, the, most of the way. But uh, yeah, we're just going in. This is going to be might be my third time but this will be Karina's first time seeing the lighthouse today's forecast isn't the best in the world right now <laughs> today's forecast isn't the best but um, at least the rain started to stop a bit and uh, we can carry on with our walk um, yeah hopefully it stays at least cloudy and not rain so much today because uh, we want to go to the sand dunes after but um we're here nice and early uh we will be meeting russia and basi but later and once they make it people, here i was hoping that it doesn't rain because on the way here it rained like five times and every time i thought oh no that's it but now <laughs> we're here and it doesn't rain so good so uh, i hope it stays like that for the next 20 minutes <laughs> okay guys this is one of the location key points or POY point of interest. Check it out. So Tokyo is only about 8,475 kilometers. I think that's pretty doable to drive within a couple months. Very cool. Anyway, let's see what Korea thinks. What do you think? What do you think of the lighthouse? because of the weather um, it's really beautiful and we took some amazing photos and time lapses and videos and yeah i would love to see it in a sunny day but <laughs> yeah. what, what can we do and later on if the weather allows us like what i said we want to say uh, we want to check out the sand dunes which is the tepaki sand dunes which is just over there um just maybe about a 15 minute drive from here at the lighthouse uh, we will have to see how the weather plays we might still do it if the weather doesn't um rain on us but um yeah so there goes my valentine cooking a uh, beautiful dinner today <laughs> um yeah guys so today hasn't hasn't been the most interesting day but it is if you think on the bright side uh just because the fact that today's weather pretty much cancelled our plans but we still carried on made it to the top of the um north island here in new zealand um went to cape ringer lighthouse and pretty much that's what we did today uh but we are back oh we're not back but then uh we headed straight down slowly going down and now we're here at a place called manganui we've been here before uh, we found our freedom camping spot just uh, out here in the small town um, of Manganui. So our plans, we don't really have a plan, we're just gonna have to go with the flow with what the weather throws us. But things like the sand dunes, um, maybe Kaiwi lakes and some of those other stops that we plan probably won't happen this time, unfortunately. But today is Valentine's Day and this is, uh, not sure if I showed you guys, uh, Karina surprised me with a little gift. Um, unfortunately I didn't have any gift for her. But um, yeah, I'm just going to be the small one today. <laughs> I did give her a flower that I found from Urupuku Puka Island. <laughs> anyway guys, um, yeah, so I think our vlog's basically going to cut short a little bit for this trip. But um, we will keep you guys up to date on what things and other things that we're going to be going on. There's going to be a lot of adventures this summer. And yeah, and we'll also bring Khaleesi a bit more to our vlogs as well. I'm sure she misses us. Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna make some dinner, have a bit of a downtime, and yeah, just enjoy the, enjoy the, the rest of the day. 
Um, so the weather really sucks at the moment. We can't do much. We didn't end up doing the sand dunes yesterday. Um, we're still with our friends right here with Vasti in Russia um, and Karina, of course, just here making lunch. We can't really do much. We did enjoy um, Cape Ringer yesterday. We we got wet and stuff, but it's all good, right? Yeah. yeah. We got good. to see a bit a of that. Bit of um, a lot of a lot of things changed yesterday. It's just amazing. Um, we have to cut our trip a bit short just because uh, people should work from home unless that is not possible. If you go outside your home, please maintain physical distancing of two meters outside. The lockdown is the first in New Zealand in six months and marks a major setback in the country's largely successful efforts to control the virus. Um, Yesterday, lockdown uh, was announced in Auckland and the rest of the country went down to level two. Um, and we can't really do much right now in the next couple of days and we're due back tomorrow and we're going to try see if we can pass the border in Auckland if we can. If not, then we will stay above. But for now, we're going to separate, um, going to go separate ways for now because Russia and that uh, have to go. I think they're just going, are you just staying this year, eh? Yeah, yeah. 20 Ks. Yeah, 20 Ks. And we are going to slowly yeah. head back down to Auckland see if we can um, if we're allowed to get a car drop this van off and go home but uh yeah just an excuse to cut this trip shorter but we'll be back again soon and we'd just like to say farewell to uh, you guys Hi, hope you guys had an amazing time yeah definitely yeah. man well, what's awesome. your guys biggest highlight of the trip so far well not jet ski jet ski yeah, jet skiing. That yeah was well so it was good. really good adventuring you guys and i'm sure we'll uh see you guys make sure uh to give these guys a follow on her ig also um of course also youtube <laughs> and um, you'll see her face very soon as well on TV. <laughs> Alright guys, so we made it through the first border in Wellsford. With no issues, we just needed to prove uh, where we live and that we're just passing through to go home. And that's it. And now we're in Auckland, we just gassed up. We will change the camper van now to our car. And we hope that's also fine. And then we go home. And there will be another border south of Auckland. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so we just made it to the car park where we parked our car. It's called Fly Park, it's in Auckland and it's really cool. So if you ever need to go somewhere and leave your car, Unfortunately, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in to our sweet hideout. Unfortunately, we couldn't finish our trip just because of the lockdown that was announced today and uh, the weather forecast wasn't so good. So we'll have to continue this trip, but we'll bring some more vlogs. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.